Hi, this is Tahmina Khan. Today I will teach you or explain you how to sketch cos graph trigonometric function cos x. It's a general function right now. Nothing is multiplying with this. Nothing is multiplying with this x. No addition and subtraction here. So general cos function and the sketch of this is this. All of us are very much okay with this sketch and everybody can sketch. Problem comes when number start multiplying here, here and addition start happening here. Again in this graph, in this sketch, you can see the five points we have to identify and then we have to complete the sketch. Two are on the axis of the curve and two points are maximum value and one is minimum. And cycle of the graph completes in 0 to 360 degree. After that if you will continue it will take the same shape here and the same shape here. So let's see what happens if the equation changes a bit. This is a general equation of the cos function. Same as I explained in my sign function C expresses for the axis of the curve. A is the amplitude. B tells you how many cycles you will plot in 360 degree. And it helps to identify the cycle period. And today we will see the examples with different numbers here. C plus A gives us maximum value. C minus A minimum value on this sketch. Amplitude as we know how high or high, how low, how much low below the x axis, I mean axis of the curve. Let's see this example. Y is equal to cos x plus 3x. Now when no number is written here, it means it is 1. So 3 plus 1 is 4 maximum value. 3 minus 1 is 2 minimum value. So now when we will sketch the curve here, the axis of the curve is 3. On the x axis I have shown here 91, 82, 73, 60 degree. So now we know that at 90 degree and at 270 degree the curve passes through the axis of the curve. And the maximum value occurs at 0 degree and 360 degree. So I have marked these points here. And at 180 degree I will have a minimum value which is 2 right now. So I have completed the curve considering all this. Now let's see another example. Suppose the function is 2 cos 3x plus 1 and we have to sketch it within the range minus 70 to, oh sorry, minus 90 to 270. Again amplitude will remain 2, axis of the curve will be 1. Let's see how does this play its role in this sketch, this 3. 1 plus 2 is 3. 1 minus 2 is minus 1. So I have my maximum and minimum value from here. We know that one cycle period of cos is completed in 360 degree. So 360 divided by 3 will give me 120. It means now one cycle will be completed in 120 degree. I have to sketch up till 270 only from minus 90. So on my sketch I will show numbers from minus 90 to 270 within 0 to 120 one cycle will be completed to complete or to show or to sketch the uh, graph we need four intervals within 120 so now i have divided 120 into four parts so now my axis of the curve will have at 30 and at 90 and maximum will occur at 0 and 120 which I have marked here so in short or to remember or to make it easy you can say maximum excess minimum excess maximum excess minimum excess maximum excess this is how I explain to my students so after marking all the points similarly here also because the curve will complete in this form so let's complete the sketch here And similarly, we will complete it here.
so this is the cos graph i hope you understood first of all we have divided 360 into three parts and i know my one cycle will be completed in 120 degree so 120 i have divided further into four parts and then it's simple shape is little uh not very much perfect but i hope when you will draw it will be perfect now let's see the sketch of y is equals to minus 2 cos 2x plus 2 now i have to sketch it within the range minus 180 to 180 degree because i have minus sign here so the shape of the graph will be inverse like this otherwise if it is positive the shape of the graph is like this so now my axis of the curve is at 2 my maximum and minimum are 4 and 0 and 360 divided by 2 will tell me that one cycle will be completed in 180 degree so now i have divided my um x axis into four parts on this side and four parts here because the range within which i have to sketch is minus 180 to 180 degree now similarly 180 i'm dividing into four equal parts because the shape of the graph will be like this so axis of the curve will happen at 45 degree and at 135 degree now maximum will be at 90 degree and the same thing will happen here so let's complete the sketch i have already marked this point okay so now it looks a little weird from here but please fix the shape yourself here okay so now i hope it is clear so this will be the shape of the curve for minus 2 cos 2x plus 2 i hope i have or you understood i tried my level best to explain it to you so thank you very much for watching my video if you like it you can press like and subscribe me as well thank you